So we are perfect as we are. Let it settle for a moment. When I first heard that I'm perfect as I am, when I came to the first, my first Balance View meeting in India, I was like, nah. I refused to believe that I'm perfect as I am. I refused. I refused and resisted. And I got really angry. And, but at the same time, I kept coming back because something something was interesting. You are perfect as you are. Like, what the hell are you talking about? You know? Listen to my mind. Listen to my thoughts and emotions. And I'm sure you'll change the entire perspective of your training. That was my kind of attitude. You know, I come from Israel. I'm, you know, I'm negative most of the time. I have ups and downs. I'm uncertain. It's hard for me to take decisions. I have lots of nightmares. What, 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 okay. Okay, let's talk about it. But uh, rather than opening a discussion and like, you know, thinking and checking if I'm kind of, I belong to this exalted definition of human beings as exactly perfect as they are, I was invited to get to know it in my own direct experience, which was very cool. It wasn't, it wasn't about, okay, believe or try to. It was tested in your own experience. Okay, challenge. I like challenges. You know? So, one of the first things that we really want to get to know, you know, the first thing we want to get to know before knowing our name, who is our mother, who is our father, is the nature of our mind. What is the nature of our mind? And I know that many of you probably, as I did, read many books and went to many workshops or saw YouTube videos or whatever about the nature of mind. So there's lots of information available, right? Lots of information, lots of books, lots of teachings, lots of things. So it's good to have proper information, accurate information that takes us directly and shows us what is the nature of our mind. In balanced view, the basis or the nature of our mind we call open intelligence or opening intelligence. If you stop thinking for a moment, What remains? A sense of openness, alertness, power remains. This is open intelligence. This is the nature of our mind. So to not be confused anymore, we simply stop thinking for a moment and we see what remains. We didn't disappear when we stopped thinking, you know, nothing grandiose happened. Simply we stop thinking and that's, that's how we introduce ourselves to the nature of our mind. To be assured in the nature of our mind, we need a simple practice and a support system. That, that's what I need and that's what worked for me and for thousands of people around the world who are taking part in this movement of balanced view. So once we stop thinking, of course, all the thoughts come back, you know. Did I stop thinking? Was it for real? It wasn't special. It was amazing. I know it already. All the thoughts co come, come back and... And that's just fine. That's, you know, that's the dynamic energy of our mind. So rather than trying to hold on to a moment of open intelligence, we simply take a short moment of opening intelligence. A short moment of instinctively recognizing, again, open intelligence. And by repeating it again and again, we get used to it. And open intelligence becomes obvious. Why? Just because. <laughs> This is the way things actually are. So when we, when we meet reality face to face, then it's real and it's potent. Short moments are so simple. You know, before, before meeting Balanced View and having my own ideas about the nature of mind, I tried really hard to be in a long, 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 endless, timeless moment of something. Give it the best title you want. You know, I tried really hard and I remember it's like punishing myself. I dragged myself to the room and I put myself and I said, okay, you little flawed creature, if you don't get in this half an hour, one hour, 10 days, the nature of our mind, then again, you're so flawed. So every time, even if I reach somewhere in terms of a special state, 
there was a fallback. There was a falling down from this exalted state. What a torture, like sitting on this chair. Even worse, you know, you are always all day long walking and you need to assess yourself and give yourself, okay, yeah, I'm doing great because I, I love people today. I'm doing great. No, I, oh, I'm doing bad because I have jealousy and desire. Oh, oh, you know, constantly wanting to rearrange our thoughts and emotions to a perfect picture. And who decided what is the perfect picture? Psychology, religion, um, your parents? Or is it up to you? Is it up to us, to each one of us, to elect, to choose which lifestyle we want to live? A lifestyle that is endless effort, struggle, with no results, you know, in terms of constant life satisfaction and flourishing, or a lifestyle of complete ease and gradual adjustment to reality, aligning with reality for the benefit of all. For me, it's quite clear which option sounds better. Yeah? And the four mainstays, the support structure of Balanced View, really offers this support. Support. We don't have to do it by ourselves. And this is also something I didn't like about the training, because I was quite... You know, I was 25, and I traveled in India for so many years, and, you know, I know it already, so don't talk with me about helping me. If you want, I can help you. <laughs> I can offer my gems of wisdom to you while you are listening to me. So, so that was one of my first hiccups, you know, like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, adjustment. <laughs> okay, I actually need support. <laughs> can you help me? Yeah, sure. So the Balanced View offers 24-7 support, 24-7 support. It means that we are never alone, never isolated in our thoughts and emotions if we choose not to be isolated. You see, it's, so again, it's up to us. We can be attracted to the message we are listening, to the people, to the great openness and welcoming, but it's then up to us to wait, uh, to choose for that, rather than wait, you know, like... I remember going to places in India and I saw someone great. At least they appeared great, you know. They were a human being, they were great. And I was looking at them, oh, wow. Never, it will never happen to me, right? I was just like so hopeless. And, but I tried hard and finding the balance view really gave me the answer and purpose for my life. <laughs>